Hello my classy people, how y'all doing? Wayne Bolden from the Speed King channel, of course. Happy, happy Saturday, having a cup of coffee. As always, turn your closed captions on and remember our tip sheets are available. I want to thank everybody that purchased tip sheets this weekend for us. A great way to support us as we're going to be upgrading the studio uh, probably next month, which is our two-year anniversary. So thanks so much for all your help. We're here to take a look at the quick call stake race uh, at Saratoga on Sunday. It's race number eight, um, grade three for three-year-olds. Very nice race for three-year-olds. Uh, going five and a half furlongs on the turf for 175,000. It's a field of 10, but the number nine and the number 10 horse are entered only for main track. So, you know, uh, they look like they're not going to go unless it comes off the turf. So we have a field of eight for the uh, quick call. You know what? We're going to run through all eight of them, make it quick, fast, and in a hurry. Have an opinion in here. The number one horse, Sky and Sands. Well, two wins from seven starts. That's not horrible. This horse is by Midshipman. This is a Steve Asmussen runner. The speed figures look a little light, but this horse is in, improving each and every race. Now, got beat by the number four horse in here. No balls last time in an allowance race, as well as the number three horse, uh, Run, Curl, and Run. So, again, the number one, run Curtis run, excuse me, the three horse. Uh, the number one horse to me, Sky and Sands, nice, nice enough horse, got Tyler up. Uh, I guess if you had to use him, I would only use him underneath. I don't like him in this spot. I'm going to throw the number one off the ticket. And the number two horse, Surprise uh, Boss, three wins from ten starts. Uh, two seconds, three thirds, not horrible at all. Vasquez is our trainer. Kamuch is in the arms. Actually, this horse has two races back there on June 4th and April 23rd. That would, you know, put this horse in the thick of things. So, not a horrible horse. Uh, to me, the number two horse by War Dancer and on the back end by Elusive Quality. But I'm not going to pick him here, okay? I'm going to throw the number two surprise boss off the ticket. He would surprise me if he wins the race, for sure. The number three horse, well, here's going to be my long shot value play in the race. The number three horse, Run Curtis Run. Two wins from seven starts, two seconds and one third. The horse is by Summer Frost on the back end by one of my most, one of my favorite horses of all time, Forrest Wildcat. Trained by Ben Perkins Sr. and the due process stable over there in Colts Neck, New Jersey. Many, 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 many moons ago at Monmouth Park. And the number three horse, uh, Run Curtis Run to me. The speed figures are right in line with the top three horses in here, which is, of course, uh, Big Invasion, uh, the number four horse, No Balls, and, of course, the number six horse, One Timer. Those are the three horses to beat in here, the seven, four, and six. And to me, the number three horse, Run Curtis Run, comes out of several races with all of those horses except the number six. And being that they beat them, there's a four-pound weight shift. They're spotting them four pounds today. And at 12 to 1, I'm willing to give Run Curtis Run an opportunity to hit the board, and maybe I can run this horse down in my tries and exactus. We like the number three, Run Curtis Run, particularly at that value and them shifting weight in this sprint by four pounds between the number four, no balls, and the number eight horse, Big Invasion, the big, big favorite. We like the number three. Speaking of no balls, the number four horse, nine to two, that is a square price on this horse. Six wins from nine starts. That's right. This horse is by Noble Mission. Larry Ravelli, a, a extremely nice trainer. He's clicking at 29%. He has Irad Ortiz in the yards, and the speed figures are right in line. Like I said, beat uh, Run Curtis Run last time, but now spot and Run Curtis Run four, four pounds. This horse likes to go to the front, but number four, no balls. And I don't think it's going to be any different uh, on Sunday. So the number four horse is a serious, serious win contender in here and probably will be my second or third pick for sure. The number five horse, Dance Code. Well, I mean, this here Cole hasn't done nothing wrong. Dance Code is 30 to 1 on the morning line. And I mean, three wins from nine starts, that's not bad. 
for 173,000. It's Vasquez and he has two in here. But the horse isn't a turf horse. This horse mainly competes on the dirt. So we're going to throw the number five dance code off the ticket. We talked a little bit about the other contender in the race of the three. I thought the number six horse, one timer, four wins from five starts. Wow, four wins from five starts, right? This horse is by trap shot on the back end by Blaine. It's Larry Ravelli. He has two of them in here, of course. And this horse appears to be sitting on go go. And this horse is six to one. I mean, if you look at it, the value with the six horse at six to one is tremendous. And the value with the number four horse at nine to two, no balls, is tremendous. And the number six horse made a, um, his three year old debut over there at PID on the 23rd of May on the synthetic. Ran out of the TV screen, made his three year old debut by like all get out, went gate to wire one by six, earned a decent speed figure. Now, last year, as a two year old, the last time we seen uh, this horse, one timer, the number six, was on November 6th at Del Mar in the Breeders' Cup turf sprint, juvenile turf sprint, and ran ninth by only two limbs to Twilight Gleaming, who was scratched yesterday in Go Bear Go. So, of course. This horse should be a pretty big turf move up. I like the six horse particularly if you think this horse is going to improve on the grass. Six to one is a square, square price on the number six. I wouldn't leave him out in any of my exotic wagers. I think he could win the race, but if you're playing tries and exactors, you can't leave the number six from underneath. I like him. Probably be my third or fourth pick. An asymmetric. Well, asymmetric is 7-2 on the morning line, the number 7. Three wins from seven starts, two seconds and one third for $200,000. It's Wesley Ward. The weird thing here, this horse made his three-year-old debut on May 29th at Belmont in an overnight stake race. Well, let me see what the name of that stake race was. Was the Paradise Creek Stake Race. Had, ran second um, by three limps to big... Uh, Invasion, who's the big favorite in here, the number eight. And Irad Ortiz was on this horse. Now Irad jumps off and goes up to the horse, no balls, which makes sense to me. But again, they did get Mr. Spencer in the orange, Wesley Ward on asymmetric. And to me, this horse is clearly a contender in this race and should be reckoned with for sure. I wouldn't leave them off at 7-2. And the last horse in the race is the big, big favorite, the number eight horse, Big Invasion. Well, has won four races for five starts with one second. You can't shake a stick at that. The horse is six to five on the morning line. I guess that's right. The horse is by declaration of war on the back end by curl. And so this horse is bred top and bottom for the turf and to go long. It's Christopher Clement who couldn't do anything wrong at the Belmont meet that just closed. You got the genius in the arms. That's right. There's only one genius jock up in New York, and that would be uh, Rosario. That's right. Joe Rosario is up here, has been on this horse the last two times. This horse is currently riding a four-game winning streak. That's one, four, five, coming off of a 49-day layoff. And again, don't know why this horse wouldn't run. So obviously, this looks like the horse to beat. I hate the price at 6 to 5 on Big Invasion, and I think he's vulnerable, or maybe not vulnerable, but I think there's horses in here that's just as good as the number 8 horse, Big Invasion. Like the number 4 horse, No Balls. He's not getting in front of No Balls, Big Invasion, so he better sit, and Joel don't have a problem with that. And like I said, the number 6 horse, One Timer, I think this horse is going to be a big, big turf move up. So again, even though Big Invasion is four from five, I get it. I think six to five is a really, really short for my blood. But you can't argue the fact this is a very, very nice colt. And Christopher Clement has, is red hot and has done nothing wrong for sure. So again, there's your uh, quick call stakes in this five furlong sprint on Sunday. Um, I told you who the main contenders were. I'm going to go and play a long shot and try to hook them up in exactors and tries. The number three horse to me, Run Curtis Run, is the value play in here to me. Now, of course, we know who the contenders are, right? The four, six, seven, and eight. I mean, you obviously, right? But, I mean, how do we create value in here? And I think the mere fact that the number four horse, no balls, 
in the number six horse one timer is spot and run Curtis run four pounds out of the races that they came out of and he wasn't that far away his speed figures is just as good as any of them I think that this horse could hit the board the number three and at 12 to 1 on his way up I'm willing to use him with the condition horses in here okay so that's going to be my top pick and my top long shot play obviously hooking them up with who the three or four contenders none being more uh, awesome than big invasion the number eight or the number four horse no balls and the number six one timer so run curtis run is our top pick for sure our second pick we got to lean towards big invasion i mean the horse is four for five need no introduction and of course our third pick will be no balls this horse will be on the top with irad for sure he jumped off of the number seven horse asymmetry which will be our fourth pick in here our third pick of course is going to be the number six uh, one timer at a square price of six to one. So for us, our value play and long shot play is the number three, Run Curtis Run. The number three, our second pick is Big Invasion. That is obviously the horse to beat, hands down. Little short for my blood, but we'll try to get some value hooked up in there with them. And our third pick will be the number Speedy Speedy Four Horse, no balls with the IRAD up for sure and our fourth pick will be the one timer the number six at another square price at six to one so for us value three over eight four six in that order let me know what you think about the quick call stakes for sure see if we can create some value with run curtis run for sure stay classy folks and enjoy the rest of your weekend